Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're diving into a controversial statement made by Andrew Tate. He's known for stirring up conversation with his bold and often provocative claims, and this time he's tackled a very sensitive topic, racism. Tate recently said that racism is for poor people. So what does this mean, and is there any truth to it? Andrew Tate, a figure known for his outspoken views, made this controversial statement suggesting that racism is something only poor people engage in or are affected by. According to Tate, racism is a result of economic and social disenfranchisement, and it doesn't affect wealthier individuals the same way. But let's unpack this claim. Is racism really just an issue for those who are economically disadvantaged? Or is it a more complex problem that cuts across all socioeconomic levels? And let me tell you guys something. As someone who's gone from a council estate to a billionaire, let me promise you this. When a black billionaire meets a white billionaire, there's no racism. They're billionaires. Racism's for the poor people, and the elites love it. The elites love making the white poor man fight the Islamic poor man. They want you two poor people fighting so they can stay in charge. The problem, my message to the British patriots, is the problem are not the Muslims you live amongst. You have more in common with the men you live amongst than you do the people who are making these insane policies. And my same thing I'll say to the Muslims. The problem is not the average British man you live amongst. The problem are insane globalists who refuse to allow anyone a point of view, who refuse to do anything which is good for the, the actual population of the country. And, and I actually would argue that if the British patriots were to go up to the average Muslim men that they have a problem with and say, do you think people should be allowed to arrive here without passports and just turn up and run around and break the law and live for free, they'd probably agree with them. Racism is a deeply ingrained issue that exists in various forms across different societies. It's not just about individual attitudes. It's about systemic and institutional biases that affect people regardless of their economic status. While it's true that poverty and social disenfranchisement can exacerbate the effects of racism, they aren't the root causes. Critics argue that racism isn't confined to any single class or economic group. Wealthy individuals can be racist, and wealthy people can also face racism, though their experiences might differ from those of poorer individuals. Racism is a systemic issue that's tied to broader social, political, and economic structures, not just personal wealth. Well, I'm being quiet and entertained and everyone's cool. Ah, man, it's great. You don't feel racism. But when you try to challenge the club, it's like, right. oh, no, we should have a seat at this, to use the Solange album title. Right. We should have a seat right. at this table. And uh, then it gets into a space where it's like, wait, you guys are mad at me about the same thing you guys are doing. And it's, right. it's just, it gets into a weird space. By suggesting that racism is only a problem for the poor, Tate's claim might oversimplify the issue and shift the focus away from systemic inequalities. Racism affects people at all levels of society and is influenced by a wide range of factors beyond just economic status. So what's the takeaway? While economic status can influence how racism is experienced, it doesn't mean that racism is exclusive to or only affects poor people. It's a complex issue that requires a broader understanding of systemic and institutional factors. But we'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you agree with Andrew Tate's statement? Or do you think racism is a broader issue than he suggests? Drop your comments below and let's keep the conversation going. And as usual, I will catch you all in the next video.